Well, good morning. It's always an exciting Sunday, Baptism Sunday. Uh, and I'm going to start with a couple of rebaptisms. Sometimes people are baptized and they decide that they want to recommit themselves. Perhaps get baptized in front of people that didn't see them before as witnesses. So we're going to do a couple of rebaptisms this morning. We're going to start with Gary. I guess technically it's Reuben, right? But it goes, goes by Gary. So Gary, just tell us, uh, when were you first baptized? Uh, about 13 years old. Okay, about 13 years old. You just decided that you wanted to get rebaptized here? Or? Yes, I wanted to, uh, uh, you know, New Hope is my family now. And how, how long have you been coming here? About two and a half years. Two and a half years. Well, we're delighted that you've chosen to do that here. So uh, we'll just get right to it. Okay, face the other direction. Which way? I always do that whenever I do <laughs> Yeah. One day it's going to come down to my head. And... Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold your nose. Bring your number to bend your knees. Okay, Gary, it's my great privilege uh, if you have given your life to Christ to rebaptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, next up we have Mary Sierra. So Barry also has been baptized. When were you baptized the first time? Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Okay, you just decided you want to get rebaptized yes. in front of this motley crew here. Yes, so. I made this church <laughs> mine too. <laughs> That's good. It's it's great, and we're happy that you've chosen to do that. When did you accept Jesus Christ into your life? A uh, long time ago. When you were a kid, or yeah, nineteen seventy-eight. Oh, okay. Well, good. And uh, it is our privilege to do this for you. If you face the other direction. Okay. Like that. It's my privilege as your brother in Christ, and you as my sister in Christ, that I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And of course, the question that people always ask on Sunday mornings of baptism is, is the water warm? And the answer is, by the third service, yes, it is. It's very warm right now, so that makes it a little more pleasant. Um, just, just, just to remind you, this is, um, if, if you were to walk into New Hope today and it's your first time to ever be in a church in your life, you would think, this, these are very weird people. Uh, this is really, they're bathing, you know, they're dunking somebody in a spa. Um, and um, the reason we do this is uh, Jesus saw the value of it to reflect to the world that there is something distinctly different uh, about people who put their faith and trust in God and those who don't. And uh, there's an imagery, the death of Christ, the resurrection of Christ, my sinfulness that created death to begin with and the fact it doesn't have to have the last word. And we make this statement somewhat public. It was public in the New Testament and it was being done in front of politicians who hated Christianity. And to do this then could cost you your life. Now, Mark doing it, it might cost him his as the cross comes down on his head. <laughs> but he's supposed to be on it anyway, all right? It's a Bible verse. Um, but, but we do this today in the comfort of our church, in public, in front of family, friends, and even some strangers. And it's a public statement saying, I believe that Jesus is who he said he was, did what he said he would do, and I'm ready to let him lead my life. My life will be different because of him. And then we also do it because you getting to witness this is encouragement that there are still people, young people, middle-aged people, older people, who are making the same important decisions that you made at some point in your life to invite Jesus Christ into you. So we have the privilege of sharing up next, Alyssa Arroyo. Okay. Who's that? Oh, they're giving me a different order. All right, Deborah Holmes. All right, sorry about that.
Hi, Deborah. Hi. Did you serve in the Army? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your service. We'll look at them for a moment. Okay. Because there are people on the front row that want your picture, all right? Yes. So you've got to look at them and smile big, all right? Hi, Dan and Emily. How many, uh, how many years did you serve in the military? Um, I didn't serve a bunch of years. Um, just a couple of months, but I got an honorable discharge. Okay. Well, yes. thank you for your service and your willingness to serve. And I was a volunteer enlistment. And here's the, here, here's, here's the deal. In God's service, hey, it's for life. Yes. Okay? It is for life. Okay. And it's going to be an honorable transformation from earth to heaven someday, okay? So we are so grateful. You've invited Christ in your life. I have. He lives in your heart. Yes. You want to serve him every day. Yes. Let's baptize you. Okay. Look right over there. Deborah, because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior, Lord, and life, it is my delight to welcome you to God's family, and I baptize you as my sister in faith in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now we have Alyssa Arroyo. Come on in, Alyssa. How are you today? Part of our high school group? Yeah. No? All right, Alyssa, welcome to New Hope Today. Thank you. Thank you for being here at this baptism. What do you do with your life these days? Take care of kids. Take care of kids? Yep. All right, that's mm -hmm. good. So you're a mama? Yes. All right, where are your kids out there? Yep. Okay, there they are. All right, very good, very good. You don't look old enough to have that many kids, but I see your husband down on one knee. Yep. He's been there before, hadn't he? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you have invited Christ in your life. Yes. And you're ready to make this public statement to the rest of the world that you know Jesus is your Savior. Yes. Thank you for allowing us to do this here at New Hope. Thank you. You just face that direction. Take your hands like this. Alyssa, because of your profession of faith that Jesus Christ is your Savior and Lord, it is a joy to baptize you into God's family in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless you. Take a look out there. Uh, uh, you know, you know, you know. All right. Come on, Lindsay. water okay how come y'all aren't in here then in the water all right that's her water polo team out there all right <laughs> those of you who are water polo stand up stand up no come on stand up all right look at that all right thank you girls for being here today part of our high school group most of them are up here on these first couple of rows so what grade are you in 10th. 10th grade, so that means, uh, let's see, in my day that we called that a sophomore. Is that still true? Okay, all right, all right, all right, just, just checking. And where do you go to school? Buchanan. At Buchanan High School, all right, all right. One person is proud to go to Buchanan out there. And, uh, we, we are so grateful. Alyssa, you've invited Jesus Christ in your life? Yes. Okay, and you're ready to let him be the Lord, the leadership of your life from this day on? Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you the tough question. You're going to let him help you choose a husband? <laughs> okay, all right. That's an important question at this stage of your life because there's going to be one cup. There's going to be a lot of them knocking on your door, all right? And we want you to pick the right one, all right? So follow his leadership. Step right over there, look that direction. Take your hands just like I showed you, all right? Alyssa, because you've expressed a love for Jesus Christ and invited him to come live in your life, it is my privilege to baptize you as my sister in faith in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Grandfather was going to come up here, wasn't he? Where did he go? Grandpa, come up here. Where's Granddad? Granddad, get up here a minute. We, T Teddy, our, our one of our pastors here was going to do this one, and and he's injured. And, yeah, I know. So I got messed up. So this is Granddad. All right, Grandpa's responsible for the spiritual heritage of this wonderful granddaughter and so he was going to be up here to share this so thank you we are so happy all right, all right.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we got the photo up. All right. Okay, who do I have next coming up? Nancy, Nancy, come on up. Nancy's had a couple of surgeries that's got some things fused, so we're gonna be really careful. I love your shirt, way maker, promise keeper. Yes, he is. And I haven't said a word, and she's crying already. <laughs> you love the Lord Jesus. When did you invite him into your life? About six years ago. When did you find New Hope? Um, about, six years. about six years ago. Is there something to do with both of those things kind of happening? Oh, we love it when that happens. You're a perfect example for today's message. I'll use you in the last service. All right. So, you know he lives within you. You're ready to serve him for the rest of your days. Terrific. Just step forward right up to the edge of the step. Slightly bend your knee. Take your hands just like this. All right. And it's because of your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. Because you are my sister in God's family, it is my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You did it. Careful going up. Am I down to my last one? Kyle, come on in. Oh, his brand new baby is right up here on the front row. I think I hear her saying Papa or something. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. This is Kyle. Most of you have probably never met Kyle Navarro before. Uh, he and uh, his wife and baby, they live down by Wood Lake. So, but Kara grew up with Chad all through um, junior high and high school. One of, um, I have to be careful how I say this, one of my favorites. Um, I just had the privilege of marrying them last year. They were one of the um, uh, COVID, let's pick a date and let's pick another date and let's pick another date weddings that we had last year. And it went from a large wedding to just about 20 of us at a barn, all right, uh, out in the Woodlake area. And it was great fun. And God has blessed your family since then. And uh, I always wished I was as good looking as Kyle. So. Uh, <laughs> But this was a special treat, and, and uh, preparing for the wedding, we talked about a lot of things. I don't know all of Kyle's spiritual background, but we talked about what it meant to be um, a person who explored a relationship with Christ, and um, that he be a godly husband and eventually a godly dad. And a couple of months ago, I get a call from this guy saying, Tim, I want to be baptized. And I asked the question, I ask everybody, have you invited Christ in your life? And your answer was? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So respectful, too. Man, I love this. His tribe increased. And um, so this is a joy to share in this very special moment. Not only having shared in that day in which he became a husband, but getting to share in this day that represents the moment that he became a man of God. So, Kyle, thank you for the privilege of both. Thank you. All right, you bet. Step right over to there. Look that direction. Take your hand. Kyle, because you've invited Jesus Christ to be your Savior and Lord. It is my joy and my privilege to baptize you as my brother in the faith and in the family of God. And I do so in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.